All right, so the Poco M5 is one of Poco's more affordable devices this year, and it comes at a very low price with some interesting hardware. We have it here with us, and today we're going to take a look at this smartphone. Let's get started. Now the Poco M5 is promoted by Xiaomi as a gaming focused smartphone and while it does have some nice specs, there are some things to take into consideration, especially if you're looking for a budget friendly smartphone. If you want to check out this phone, I will drop some links in the description below. And with that said, here are 5 things to know about the Poco M5. Let's get to the video. Now I think one of the best features of the Poco M5 is the display. On the front of the phone, you get a 6.58 inch IPS screen with a 1080 by 2408 pixel resolution, as well as a 90 hertz refresh rate and Grill Glass 3 protection. This is wrapped in an all plastic build with a matte finish. For such an affordable smartphone, the fact that you get a relatively high refresh rate is a much welcome feature, as the phone will be able to provide a much smoother UI experience compared to a ton of other cheap smartphones out there. The additional grille glass panel does add a bit of protection. One downside though is that the screen is an IPS panel, so color vibrance and contrast won't be as good as what you get in an OLED display. But given the price, this is an understandable trade-off. Inside the phone is a MediaTek Helio G99 chipset combined with a choice of either 4 gigs of RAM and 64 gigs of onboard storage, up to 6 gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of internal storage. The phone runs in Android 12 with MIUI, which comes with a lot of customization features, albeit with a ton of additional apps. While the G99 isn't the fastest chip out there, it should be enough to get users the functions that they need the most, such as communication features like phone and video calls, messaging, occasional social media use, and web browsing. With that said, it's not exactly a pushover, and the G99 will be able to hold its own for most gaming scenarios, although you'll have to keep in mind the types of games that you want to run on this phone. Graphics-heavy games like Genshin Impact might not be able to run smoothly on the M5. For moderate use, however, like I mentioned earlier, the phone should be able to do nicely. At the back, you'll find a triple camera setup consisting of a 15 megapixel main camera, a pair of 2 megapixel macro and depth sensors, accompanied by a 5 megapixel front facing camera. Camera quality is what you'd expect from most budget phones, which should be good for most social media purposes. However, I do wish that Xiaomi gave us an ultra wide lens instead of the macro and depth sensors, as that would have made for more dynamic photos and videos. The Poco M5 comes with a pretty large 5000 mAh battery built into the phone, and given the relatively modest processor, users shouldn't have much of a problem getting the battery to last for a while, and it should easily last a day with media streaming, web browsing, and other casual smartphone tasks. Of course, you might need to charge a bit earlier if you plan to play a lot on the phone. We only get 18 watt fast charging, so it's not going to be as fast as other budget phones out there with 30 watts or even 60 watt charging speeds. The Poco M5 is priced at around £199 here in the UK, but you can also get it for around £169 with discounts and price drops. Given the affordability of the phone, there are some compromises with the hardware, although for Xiaomi's target audience, it should prove to be a capable device, at least for moderate use, with some occasional gaming on the side. Alright guys, so that does it for this video. Let us know what you think about the Poco M5 in the comments down below, and don't forget to watch our other videos here on TeamViewerY. As always, thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.